Welcome back to Valley Life. I'm Alicia Safias. Today we're talking about a very interesting and a huge hot button issue in the city of Fresno right now, and that's privatizing solid waste. I'm joined by Dee Barnes. Welcome. Hello. First of all, tell us a little bit, introduce yourself a little bit, and tell us about your position. Okay. I'm Dee Barnes. I'm the president of the Fresno City Employees Association. So my members are the non-supervisory white collar workers. They're the customer service clerks that you would call in if you had a problem with your trash service, uh, the accounting staff. So that's who I represent. But this issue, the city has been painting this as a labor issue. Um, it's not. This is an issue that affects all of the residents, and this is an issue that's going to affect them forever. And the council, when they voted on December 20th to go forward and to uh, do the franchise ordinance and privatize trash, was a very divided council. It was a 4-3 vote. And only three council members have had any community meetings with their constituents to actually discuss it and take questions. And we believe that the citizens have not been given all of the facts. And that's one reason after they pass the ordinance, the citizens have 30 days in which to gather enough signatures to force a vote of the people. And that's really where we're at right now. We believe that the citizens should have all of the information and they should um, be able to have a say in this. And we're finding from the community response that they pretty much feel the same way about that. Absolutely. I know a lot of us have heard in the newspaper, on television stations, on the radio, a lot of people calling in and writing in. And a lot of viewers are concerned about this because it really does affect us all. To those people out there who maybe haven't been keeping up on it, December 20th, there was a vote. And explain what's happened since then. Okay, since December 20th, we immediately launched a drive to gather the signatures. We have to have slightly less than 22,000 registered voters to um, sign a petition requesting that this either be repealed, that it stays with the city, or it goes to the vote of the people. Um, it, if it does go to the vote, that's one of the things they're telling everybody is that it will be expensive. However, we've been asking them, and three of the council members wanted to take it to a vote of the people in November, and it would not have been expensive. And we're finding there's a lot of misinformation out there. Citizens just don't understand. This is not designed to save the city any money. This will not save the city a single dime. This is all about generating new revenue. And that's why uh, many people are against it because of what it's designed to do. The city right now, the $25 that citizens pay for their trash service, that can only be used to cover the cost. So we have an award-winning solid waste department. It's been featured in National Geographic. We have national awards. And the cost is completely covered. It does not cost the city general fund any money at all. In fact, the city's own utility advisory committee came back in March 2011 and said the city was overcharging, that they should reduce the rates. Uh, they suggested 3% um, per year for five years, which would have been a 15% reduction. But the city did not act on that. And of course, we believe it was probably because they had already been looking at privatization. So what this does when they privatize, whatever the citizens are paying, whether it's $20 or 25, that's not going to just cover the cost. The private company will turn around and give the city 15% of whatever the residents are paying, and that will go directly into the general fund. And we believe there could possibly be legal challenges. The city of Montebello in Southern California has already been challenged. And once that goes through the appellate court, the city of Fresno could find out that the franchise fees are going to go the way of in lieu fees. It's basically a hidden tax, and people should not be paying it. Yeah, on the surface, a lot of people out there heard that we will be paying less, and that's a good thing. You're saying it's not going to save the city any money, and in fact, we could be paying more. Well, we believe that uh, historically that, yes, once they go to a private trash hauler, that rates will go up at a, a faster rate. And the city is saying, well, this agreement is for nine years. It's locked in. Uh, the rates can only go up so much. I will agree that is what's in the contract right now, but I have had several people read the contract that are familiar with contracts, and there is nothing locked in. They can come back at any time and re request 
a higher increase. Uh, the city is promising that it'll drop 17 percent. It won't go back up until January 2015, and then it can only go up 2 percent. And there, after that, it can go up to 3 percent, and there are years it can go up 5 percent. However, they can always ask for more. And the city could consider them in default. However, we believe that no other company would be able to have a fair uh, advantage to bid with Mid Valley because Mid Valley is going to be getting all of the city equipment at bargain basement prices. And we don't believe that anyone will be able to compete with them if something does happen. Obviously, there's so much to this issue. We have a lot more to talk about. We are speaking about privatizing solid waste here in the city of Fresno. D Barnes will be right back with us and we'll get more into this controversial subject. Valley Life will be right back.